I'm not going to keep playing to find out. For all we know, it could. For all we know, it could be infinite. Not going to keep playing to find out, though. I, I remember, like, AVGN doing some of the Bible games and thought to myself, okay, this might be interesting. Just to give this a look-see myself. See what... See what Exodus is all about. I thought to myself, okay, this might be interesting. <laughs> so we gotta walk around collecting sacks with the letter M on it. <laughs> Shooting debuts at our enemies. Apparently this is what Moses had to do on his journey to the promised land. And also, just for the fun of it, I looked at the leaderboards for this game and also its sister game, Joshua. Which, yeah, plays almost identically to this. It is pretty much identical, just the levels are different, and instead of playing as Moses, you're playing as, I guess, well, Joshua. Whichever bi biblical character that was. So yeah, I'm just picking up question marks and sacks with the letter M. <laughs> and later you'll see that what these question marks are supposed to resemble. That's the exit to that level right there. You'll see that these question marks you're picking up are actually Bible questions, which you can try and answer correctly. Who enslaved the Israelites? Wasn't them. The king of Egypt told the Hebrew midwives to kill male babies, kill all babies, or look for Moses. So, killing babies was one of the answers. Midwives would not kill the male babies because, I don't know, Moses? Nope. Because the male babies were not killed, Pharaoh ordered his people to find Moses? Nope! Moses' mother wanted to save him from the river, so she... I don't know. I got none of those. I don't read the Bible. That's baby Moses, right? I clearly don't give two shits about the Bible. Let's just get that out of the way right now. And in case you're wondering, every 10 Bibles you do get, and you get one per question you answer right, every 10 Bibles gives you an extra life, in case you're wondering. And yes, I guess you can also just kind of pick them up as you just wander through the levels, but you're going to get by far the most Bibles by just answering those questions correctly. Also, these rocks can fall on you, and I just want to make sure they don't fall on me. Yeah, because that just... That kills Moses, the rock's falling on him. So yeah, today I played an NES game that says kill all babies. So I'm guessing the right answer, yeah, the right answer was either like, killing male babies or just straight up killing all of them. That's one of the... <laughs> It was either that or the other answer, I kid you not. Yeah, I thought I remember correctly, there was invincibility hidden back there. And yes, I did actually watch through, like, a speedrun of someone else running through the first 10 levels, so I would kind of know what to do myself. Just so I wouldn't be going in completely blind here. Because honestly, I would prefer to like not just go in blind if I'm gonna try and do a quote-unquote speedrun of something I've never played before. Maybe I'll do at least somewhat decently if I don't go in completely blind, I would think. Where was the exit again? Probably on the right side somewhere. Oh, t I, I have my notes out in front of me, which says exit top left corner. I took notes for a good reason, because some of the exits are hidden too amongst all of these blocks you gotta break. Okay, I guessed one. How many more can I guess? The Bible isn't specific. Did remain hidden, I guess. What happened to baby Moses when he was brought to Pharaoh's daughter? Three Bibles, so if I get seven more, I get a one-up. Apparently. <laughs> Okay, level 3, all of the question marks need to pick up are in plain sight. Alright, 
right. Okay, playing that. Playing that actually very safe. Since I've never played the game before, I just thought it would be funny. I'm gonna just- I'm gonna try and speedrun some Bible games. I thought it would be silly. That plus just really interesting to see what these actually look like while I'm actually playing them. Because all I remember was that ABGN reviewed a bunch of these and called them shit. I mean, quite frankly, yeah. <laughs> this game isn't- I can already get the feeling this game isn't all that good. Okay, I gotta continue- okay, I'm gonna have to walk back that far. I've played worse, still, don't get me wrong, I've definitely played worse over the past week. Moses saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew and he... Oh my god, my, my god, Moses just murdered somebody! <laughs> so that was the right answer! Where did Moses flee to, Israel? No. Alright, lovely picture of somebody getting whipped. And then it's on to the next level. Let's get him with the ball there. Oh, one of those was a boulder. I, just, I, I missed. I completely missed that. Did not see that. I thought something was hidden here, I guess not. Must have been wrong. Okay, there was one of the hidden question marks. Let's not fall for that, let's not fall for the same thing twice now. Okay, so that can that can move left if there's room for it to do so. Understood. I can just do this the really slow way to make sure I don't get, like, a boulder falling on my head again. If that's what these are, I have to guess they're falling boulders or rocks or something. I can just go knock them all out one by one to be sure I don't have any trouble here. Yeah, I could just do this the very slow way. Just to be sure there's no issue. Where was the exit again? Exit left side. I'm just looking at my notes still for this... Now for the fourth level, I'm just looking at my notes. Okay. Get me out of there. Level 5. 
again, I'm trying to just look at my notes here. Oh, we got a, got a massive rock slide here. I'm a little scared to just walk any further forward with all these moving boulders. I'm trying to remember if there's anything hidden under these or if nothing. Apparently these sacks with M's are also affected by gravity. I'm just looking at my notes. Don't don't mind me, just look at my notes some more. I'm trying to just make sure I didn't miss a question mark so far. Don't mind me. I don't think I Okay. Those won't kill me if they just run into me. The bags of M are fine. Now I gotta go find the exit. Okay, I'm still looking at my notes and it's saying that's on the left side. Down there. Oh, hey there, Brian. This is apparently a game that exists. You can even answer Bible questions to get extra lives. I'm just gonna be guessing. God appeared to Moses in a burning bush at... where? I have no idea. Yeah, wasn't this the guy who parted the Red Sea? I think that's the only thing I remember him doing. Level 6, just watch out for enemies. That's what my notes say. Okay, that's me. I was up in the top left corner. Oh, he's going really fast now that I pissed him off. Oh yeah, I definitely made him mad. Okay, there's a Bible if I want to go pick it up, I guess. We got a Bible there. Oh, okay. Guess I'm fine with that outcome. Still gotta grab the last question mark. <laughs> oh, there's the exit. One out of two ch I like the true false questions the most because it's a one out of two chance you can just just guess it. God said Israel was his favorite land? No, never mind. Moses and Who are these people? <laughs> Plus one more extra life. If assuming I need it anyways. Now, and now I gotta pay attention to number 10s there. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't fall on my head. Oh, but that, that, that gray circle's gonna fall on my head. That gray one will. <laughs> Uh, again. 
I'm getting a little worried now. I might game over at this point. Because I don't know like, exactly what's safe and what's not. I'm getting a little worried here. I'm just gonna do that a bunch. Oh, all right. I guess. Oh, close one. No, I don't even know how he dodged that. I'm not even sure how he dodged that one. Okay. scared when I see things move now, after those first two deaths on this level. <gasps> okay. Uh-oh. So I just currently lost a few money bags, apparently. Okay, just gonna grab that. Okay, the exit was hidden down here or something. Also, I have to make sure I don't blow myself up by mistake here. Because, yes, I've, like, dicked around with this a bit, and I have managed to blow myself up by mistake with one of these. There's the exit. Playing it much safer because I already lost two lives this one level alone. Moses was always confident God would rescue his people. True? No, I guess not. God told Moses he made him like one of these three. Nope. Zero questions correctly. Probably gonna be stuck on one life at this rate for the rest of the playthrough. Okay, I can push that, sure. So that's how that works. Okay, that ball just- that ball just straight up killed me. Continues? Okay, good, there's continues programmed into this. Okay, good, I can restart from level 8. <laughs> what the- What the heck was that? I just shot a Debbie with that weird purple ball, and it just bounced back and killed me. What the hell was that? What, what was that about? <laughs> what was that about? Okay, now I understand how that works, I guess. Now I guess I understand it.
So if I drop this here... Okay, that doesn't get rid of the like, weird purple-blue ball either. If that doesn't do it, then what does? At that point, like, what does the track? At that point, it's like, okay, what do I do to get down here? Unless this has something to do with unlocking it. Nope. Shooting up, that's doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know that doesn't help me one bit. So I'm still thinking, what is the answer even supposed to be here, anyways? those blue balls, still. I don't think this helps me at all either. Well, apparently now it blew it up. Now it blew up the blue ball. Maybe I need to just, I don't know, detonate multiple of those to destroy them or something, I don't know. I just get back on the other side and try all that again. See if it maybe is what I think it might be or not. Okay, three of those will apparently blow it up. There we go. Have to use three of those. Well, whatever item it is I'm even placing with the B button press, whatever that is. Three of those will remove those weird blue balls. Yep, so clearly there is a way to actually get them off my screen. Just must have taken at least like almost 10 minutes just to find out. To close to 10 minutes just to realize. Okay, that seems to work.
Where's the exit? Okay, it's just up here. At the, just up here near the top. Near the top of the screen. It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna beat the first time levels. If I can shoot these guys down, I'm gonna guess not. Because that doesn't seem to work. Probably not, I probably have to drop boulders on them or something. Nothing to him. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that could fall downwards. just ran into one of the red guys. That was close. Oh, that was a close one. No, really. Really close call there. Like, no, really. I hope I didn't make this unwinnable. I'm fearing that I might have, potentially. <laughs> okay, I didn't think I was gonna do that either. I don't think we get that either. Oh, I'm already out of lives. How many did I? Oh, I started with five, and apparently I'm somehow already out of lives. Just how quickly do we go through extra lives, anyways? Holy! Just how quickly am I burning through them, anyways? Like, what the? What the? I think I'd be burning through them that fast. Feels like I learn something new every day here. <sighs> Close one again. Where's this blue guy even running to now, anyways? Besides, all the way across the screen. I hope that's a good place to put these. I really hope. Okay, good, I'm out of there. 
Okay, good, I did it anyways. Alright, I've been playing Exodus, just just the first ten levels. Oh, so somebody did turn the water into blood. The water in the jars of the Egyptians turned to blood? True. The Pharaoh heeded the miracle of blood. True? Nope. The Egyptian magicians were also able to make blood. False. No, it's true. The Lord waited seven days? Correct. So level 10. Yeah, I looked, I was just out of curiosity, I looked on SRC. And for whatever reason, yeah, there's actually... There's a leaderboard for the first 10 levels, and... There are like no, there are no full game speedruns of this on SRC, it's just the first 10 levels people felt like playing. And then I figured out that... Like, a full playthrough of the game will last for about, like, a hundred or something. I'm not gonna stick around for all a hundred. I'm definitely not gonna have time for that. Even just the first 10 levels already taken me like 30 plus minutes. Can't imagine doing 100. Or all 100, I should say. It would probably be like dark out before I beat this game if I do all 100, most likely. Okay, that clearly didn't hit him. Here's the hope I didn't just go and trap myself. I'm gonna give myself more leeway to just make sure I can run past this guy without any issue. <laughs> Close one. Like, no, really. Oh, wow. Ugh. Oh, my. So that's the first 10 levels of Exodus. What does the next portrait look like anyways before you play, like, level 11? Yeah, there's clearly a level 11. Yeah, but for whatever reason... The only category for this game and its sister game, Joshua, and SRC, the only categories are just the first ten levels. 